hello thank you for watching if you could um, subscribe or leave a like or leave a comment i'd uh, appreciate it very much thank you very much for watching so this video i'm gonna basically show how uh, the knotter works for uh, uh, basics of it then so there's a bit of lock on them it's like a bird's beak shiny metal one has a jaw on it like a bird's beak as well story was a bloke who invented it um back in 18 something out in america uh, he was out um, in the field, a farmer now, and he saw this uh, bird with worm in its mouth and it um, wrapped it around and made it into a sort of knot and he quickly got a piece of wood and carved it and he kept it in the attic so um, until he had the money to patent it. But uh, the father is quite a clever bloke to see actually. <laughs> I'm going to show now how uh, it works with a pair of pliers as the billock. I'm going to try to film this uh, now for you. So pretend now this, this twine now, this wraps around the bale, so it comes out the, so you got the top bit that's stuck in the knot that holds it on, then it yanks it right around the bale as it's going along out of the um, needles from underneath, and the needles come up and join with the ends, the knife cuts it. So I'm going to basically show how, uh, how the billock works then. So pretend this is the billock now with straw, but this in reality, this twists the twine around it. And um, but uh, I'm gonna twist it around it to show the basics how it how it uh, actually works. Then, so pretend now this is twisting around and this twist around it like that. It's got a twist around it over the top, say like that. Like that now. So it comes around then, and it it's grabbed hold of that. So it twists around it and it's grabbed hold of that, and then it not pulls off it. It makes a knot like that. Well, I'll pull it through then, but uh, here you go, that's a knot there. And then, depending on the bill, it might leave a loop here or it might chop it off. I have this a bit too long then, but uh, that's the basics of it really. See, uh, can't zoom on it. But, uh, that's a knot out the baler. That's what I made now. I zoomed up. <laughs> so that, that's the sort of basics of how it works. It, it twists around and then pulls it from underneath. And the jaw, so it's wrapped around now. And the, so it wraps like that. And then the time that the tension it holds that and it grabs that and then it goes bang off like that making a knot but depending on what the bailer you have it might leave a, a loop there okay so this is how a small square bailer conventional bailer or a big square that only has one knot works some uh, make two knots with a big square i showed that after this um, this is uh, how it was done and okay. And how it is done on the small ones. So you twine now. One end is held by the twine disc. Here's a billock twine disc with a knot there. So that's held solid there. Then your twine actually feeds through your um, needle. So a bale's coming along. This twine will actually pull out here and it'll wrap around here as it's going along. One move here. Okay. So your bale wants to knot now. Your needle comes up. And uh, it's grabbed by this. Your billock ties them together. It lets that go. It cuts this after a knot. So your knot is already made there. And then it grabs onto this end that's cut. So this is cut, pretend this is cut. Holds it onto there. And then you got your next bale coming through. And you got your next bale coming through now. That'll be pushing it long, feeding out, out of here and coming out of there, out the needle there. And it's feeding along, that's held there, this has been cut away and it uh, starts over, over again. 
I'll show you the difference uh, between the two knots actually do. So this is this, it's one twine actually per knot then. Okay. So this is to show how a big square baler with two knots work. If you are a double knot nutter then. So um double knots and bales then bales then. So first knot there joins two ropes together. You've got two balls, different, you know, um rolls of uh, coils of rope and uh, twine in. So you've got one coming from the top, as it's pushing along, clicking along, it's pulling that and it's pulling this as well of needle, same as a small baler. Okay. So it's the same, but this is extra twine. Probably to save with um you know there's quite a bit of friction there as it's yanking on maybe it's to save that you know so bail your bail now that's ready this wants to not the needle comes up brings this twine up with it it also picks up this one pushes up got a twine uh, disc here that grabs it it pushes right up the needles go right up here and as we're up there this um it's already grabbed that twine thought more I grab that twine, got those. This now, the bill look now grabs both of them, knots it, and cuts it. So that's what bill's done, it's not the cut, it's off. Then, as this is coming back down, it's still got this, this twine on top of it, the tension going down there, to the, to, uh, down there. As it's coming down again with this, because it's holding this up, coming down with two of them, the needle. It grabs it a second time, knots it again. It doesn't cut this time. Okay, I'll uh, tie this now to show you. Okay, pretend now that's uh, been cut there. So it, so this bale has been knotted, diff two different ropes on it, two knots, double knot, so one this side. That's done. And you got your first knot for, sec uh, for the next one. So this, as the needle is going up, did this. As it's coming back down again, it did, did this, and it's cut it in between. Hasn't cut this one, just knots it, just lines it in. And it's the same um, bale look that does it, the same, same twine disc, just the needles that have carried it up and down then. And it's done it quick, you know, like I can't snap my fingers, but. So this second bale now is coming along, chugging along. It's pulling the twine from top, twine out with needles, and it's going along again. So that's how the twin knot big squares work. We, we are, um, there are, older and more basic ones, uh, balers then, that um, only make a single knot and like uh, a class baler, it leaves a, a loop then. But I uh, won't get into it, that's, that's the basic of it. Let me know in the comments below if you want to know um, what else would you like to see uh, how it works. I'll try, to, uh, <laughs> I'll try to do something if you do, do ask me then. But uh, it's quite, uh, quite clever uh, stuff really. It's a bit like a flat ace grab as well. You know, it take, if you thought to idea, you know, coming up with ideas start is a thing. Once it's done, it's, it's quite simple, isn't it? Isn't it? It's like the ram pump and this not there is quite simple, really, the basics of it. There's a lot more parts to it than what I've shown, but uh, it's, it's the basics of it, you know. That's the main, main uh, idea of it. But uh, quite clever people to come up with uh, these different things, isn't it? I'll try my best to explain uh, if I can, if you wanted to know something else. You know, put down what you what you think in the comments I should do uh, next this type of video, you know. Uh, I might, if I have a chance, I might put the um, link here to um, the one for ramp and how that works. Uh, Johnny Camber effect. I might put one here for the leverage, uh, you know, the how you double up a rope and how it actually works with leverage and mechanical advantage, how that actually works then. Uh, thank you for watching. So just an extra little thing now. Um, there's actually sort of a third type of um, string sort of tying baler. So to start off with Jones, um, they came out with uh, I think it was a tucker knotter and um, it had sort of, uh, so we are saying like a small baler and a um, single knot. It would drag the rope around, uh, uh, twine around. So instead of dragging it, dragging it around, 
when um, first, uh, Twine went up for the first time, it was like a spring-loaded arm, and that pulled um, some slack out. And as the bale was going, that slack would let out like a twin um, knot baler, but uh, they soon um, sort of dropped that. So um, there's a third type, a Jones um, Tucker Rotter, but um, it didn't last that long. I won't go into that really. And um, the whole thing with uh, Notters leaving um, two tails or leaving a loop, I can't really tell you what which is best or whatever. On a small baler, I don't think it really matters. You know, we don't really get trouble either. Um, but um, New Holland have uh, come out with uh, uh, big square balers with uh, two, two knots. And the first knot is actually a loop, but the second knot is um, two tails. So um, the theory of that is, uh, I think they made two tails, the front one. But as a bale was coming out of the chamber and hitting the ground, it could burst. So we come out with um, doing a loop on the first one. So that hits the floor first and gets the most uh, strain in. So, in theory, then, what we're saying, uh, the loop is better in that way. So, um, but a uh, small pillar doesn't really matter. You know, um, it's quite tough to say uh, what's what. Um, you know, uh, different pillars have different, you know, tying. And maybe the square pillar has a, a loop, but the small one has tails. So, uh, it's tough to say, you know, maybe they use deering knotters on the small ones, you know, and something else on the big ones, you know. Um, just one of those things I can't really tell you, uh, but um, class have stuck to loops, and most New Hollands are uh, uh, tails. I'll just say leave it like that.